Hello everyone, welcome to Job Skills Share. This is a quick real world scenario. Let's say, for example, this is a hardware scenario in an IT support um, career. Let's say you're doing, um, uh, you get a call that you have a, uh, this light, orange light, just popping up, and there's nothing happening. There's no power. Uh, this could mean that the power supply might went bad. So if you look at the back right here, there's a little, uh, basically a little tab here. So if you plug this, put this in this button right here, nothing happens, right? So the same thing if I just take it out. And other thing is that make sure you use all the safety. I'm not using that, which is not a good thing, but I have to do this quickly. So I just wanted to show you guys a real world example here. Now if I use the same here, as you can see the green light is coming up that means the power supply is good so what's the fix in a real world environment if you're working with computers or staff employees all the time so the thing is that you know you can't just wait for Dell to bring you another uh, power supply or you might already have one but in most cases you will use it so what you want to do is you would have another computer just the same computer you take the power supply from this one which is working we know that we're gonna put it on this one and give it to employee and then we will work on the bad one contact our Dell uh, suppliers or anyone and then they'll fix send us the, a new one basically that's what that would be the fix so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the machine make sure there's no power coming in and open it up so when I open that up this is the piece that I was talking about. Make sure you wear all the safety and stuff, but like I said, I don't care at this point because I gotta do this quickly. So you take this thing off. We're gonna take this out from this machine. There's the same uh, power supply. We take it out and plug it in here. Now, when you take it out, just make sure that wherever you unplug these wires, make sure you put it back in there. So for example, if I take this out, there's one right here that's plugged in, so I need to take that out. Then there's another one, and you need to look at these little hooks. So when you do that, you take this out, and then make sure all these wires are plugged back into the right. So this wire is going all the way down here. That needs to be taken out, so when I plug the other one, make sure that goes back the same way, or else you're going to have problems plugging these things back into the right spot. So I'll do that, and we'll test it again, okay? So the battery is out from this, the power supply, sorry, is out from this computer and it's right there. And I'm going to take the same one out from this one, put it into this one, and then I'm going to give it to the staff member and then we're good. This, this problem is solved. So now that everything is moved to this one, which is right here, I'm going to go ahead and test it out. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Is that the correct one? No. This way. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. So let's go ahead. Turn it on. And there you go, it's blue now. So that's gonna tell me that there's a power, this issue is resolved. So there, this writes few questions that what happened to the user? So, you know, as an IT um, support worker or anyone, you would have some kind of backup machine to give it to them for a while. They can connect to the domain and they can work on it. And you can tell them, hey, while I fix this, you guys can work on this temporary machine. And then once you do this, quickly give that away. And then you can come back and fix this part, which is however you want to fix it. You might have contract with other companies, so that's a really good way. You might have warranty. You'll find out. Dell will get this part from you, and then they will send you a new one. And this one, what you will do is basically um, you will put a note on it that you remove the the power supply so if someone else come in and they say what happened to this machine then you will have a nice uh, note on it so then other people can quickly find out that's what happened so that was a quick scenario real world scenario just to show you guys hands-on IT stuff what we do in our daily life thank you